If 2023 did not work out for you and you go into 2024 doing the exact same thing again, you're gonna have the same outcome. The winners are the ones who are going to evaluate the situation, making sure their bread and butter are met. What's up guys and welcome back. Today we're gonna to talk about some hard truths, some hard truths coming through in 2024 that some will understand and some just don't wanna hear. So the economy is still tough. It is brutal out there, guys. All of you know this, all of you are feeling it. Inflation rates are still at 5.4%, well above the targets of two to 3% that the RBA has set in the past, we're not even close to it. Interest rates are still right up there, causing pressure on mortgages, on rent, on everything around. Even the small purchases from businesses are impacted from interest rates. Wages are stagnating and we still have a rental crisis, both in affordability and in availability. So the hard truth is, guys, some people are going to get ahead and some people are going to fall behind in the following years coming ahead. And it's going to come down to, are you going to be the person that gets ahead or the person who falls behind? behind. But just like two sports teams playing a match against each other, it's going to come down to who wants it more for the win and which side you end up on. It's going to come down to yourself and how much perseverance and how much effort you put in with the choices you make over the next year or two. We're in December right now and everyone's getting ready to spend time with friends and family, relax a little bit across the holidays. But come January, it is game time. The whistle's blowing and you have to start playing. And there's going to be some hard decisions if you want to win. So I'm going to speak to gig work who do this full-time and then I'm going to speak to trad employees who also have a full-time job and then are doing gig work on top of it. So to gig workers you need to make sure that the 40 hours you put into gig work is meeting your bread and butter needs, meeting your rent, meeting your bills, meeting you know food, uh, your costs for your family. You need to make sure that's all met in 40 hours worth of work. So if that's not being met and you're spending 50, 60, 70 hours working the gig apps just to get by, something's not working so you need to try adjust how you're using the gig apps try use a different gig app uh, try different times try different days you need to find a way that it works but the, the fact is that not every market is going to support enough money in it to be able to make them bread and butter needs across 40 hours worth of work and you need to identify that as a gig worker for traditional employees people working that w2 job or your traditional full-time jobs gig work is to make extra your money on top you need to focus on getting consistent with it i understand a lot of people pick up gig work but don't run consistent with it they're all over the shop with their schedules they might do one week and then not do any work for another two or three weeks and we're talking about full-time hours work with gig apps on top of their full-time job uh, i'm talking about being consistent picking just one night a week saying this week i'll do one night this week i'll do one morning this week i'll do one afternoon each week to stay consistent maybe it's two maybe it's three it's entirely up to the person their schedule and how much time and effort they want to put in to get further ahead so consistency is the key for people with traditional employment so for gig workers who haven't tried doordash yet or for people with traditional employment looking to try get ahead and be consistent on a side hustle i've got my link to doordash down below in the description click the link punch in your zip code or postcode to see if it's available in your area if there's any spots open and it's as easy as signing up and logging in and once you're in you now have a side income you have extra revenue coming in and then it comes down to yourself to test and adjust strategy in your market to make the best money that you can but if your needs aren't being met from the 40 hours worth of work whether you're doing gig work or full-time employment if in 40 hours you are not meeting your bread and butter needs it's time to put your big boy pants on it's time to make a change and these changes aren't going to be easy if you're a gig worker and 40 hours worth of work is not meeting your essential bread and butter needs you need to get them big boy pants right up suck it up there's no ego to this it is essentially you're not meeting your needs in your market from gig work and that's after guys trying all the different strategies trying to adjust testing the market if your market cannot support you in 40 hours worth of work and let's be honest guys every market is not the same markets are going to be different some markets will be absolute bangers where you can make a lot of money some markets will be dead and regardless of how hard you work it's just not going to pan out so if you're in a bad market and the market does not support you you need to go get a w-2 job you need to get traditional employment for that 40 hours and of course guys this is after exhausting trying out other apps trying out all the strategies trying out everything if you've done everything you possibly can and it's just down to your market 
big boy pants, get a full-time job. If you're in traditional employment right now and the bread and butter needs aren't being met, you need to shop around guys for another job. You gotta find another line of employment, try a, a different company that you currently work in, see if they do a better pay rise. Even finding two to three hours different in pay, that's gonna add up over the year. It's gonna be a huge difference. $3 an hour across an entire week is an extra $120 per week just from changing across to a different job. But once you have that 40 hours per week meeting your bread and butter, your family, your rent, your bills, everything involved with it, once you've got that 40 hours covering everything and maybe even getting further ahead on them 40 hours, once you've got that checked off, and you got your foundation stable, that's when to focus on extra miling with gig work. You can't rely on gig work to, to pay for everything, especially if you're in a market where it's just not possible. That's what I'm trying to hammer in here, guys. It is not possible in some markets to make uh, enough to keep your head above water. It's just the fact. Some areas are gonna be busy, some are not gonna be busy. Not all markets are the same. But 2024, it's gonna be a year of hard choices. It's you against the economy. It's you against everything stacked against you right now. Once again, guys, the realism is there's going to be winners and losers in 2024 and onwards. But the winners are the ones who are going to evaluate the situation, making sure their bread and butter are met. They're going to change traditional employment to get ahead if they're not getting their bread and butter met. They're going to try all the different avenues on gig apps. And if it doesn't work, they're gonna fill in that gap with traditional employment to make sure they're getting ahead. If 2023 did not work out for you and you go into 2024 doing the exact same thing again, you're gonna have the same outcome. It's gonna be exactly the same and you have no one to blame except yourself. I'm sorry guys if that is a little bit tough love, but it, it's gonna come down to what are you doing to change if it's not working out? You can't just sit there, complain and whinge saying nothing's working, it's all unfair, but not try to change anything. It all comes down to you next year moving forwards. And guys, I know there's a lot of other content creators out there saying gig, gig apps are just not paying what they used to. Um, it's all too hard, it's too tough, it's impossible. And they're not offering solutions. They're not saying to change anything. They just wanna have a good whinge online. And you know what? It's easy to listen to that stuff. It's easy to sit there and go, yeah, they're right. It is hard right now. I'm telling you it's hard. I'm telling you it's damn near impossible to get ahead in this economy. But I'm saying that you're gonna to need to tweak things, change things. It's gonna come down to you to decide when that whistle blows and game is on in 2024, which team are you going to be on? You're going to be on the winning team or the losing team? Because the team that wins is the team that wants it more. So how badly do you want it in 2024 and onwards? It comes down to you. Think about that one. That's all I've got to say today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button if I got through to you. I'm trying to give that message is a little bit tough love, but... I think a little bit of tough love in these times of economic crisis is what we need to hear. We can't just be like molly cuddled and be like, yes, everything's going to be okay. That's not the case. Okay, guys, you need to, some of you need to wake up. And those who are already awake, I'm sure these are out there grinding, doing these steps already, and you guys are gonna be successful. But the guys who are just coming out of that slumber like a, a lazy, lazy Snorlax from Pokemon, just know that it's gonna be a shock in 2024 when you kick into gear and you start moving forwards with this stuff. So just be aware, it's not gonna be easy. But that's all for today, guys. Think about it and enjoy your Christmas, but know that come January, it's time for change, it's time to push, it's time to grind, it is time to make sure that you set yourself up for success. Anyway guys, take it easy and peace out. I understand. I appreciate, I can appreciate. No, no, no I'm gonna say something different. No, I appreciate. So, can, 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 <laughs> so consistency is the key. You want water? Nope, almost there. What's up guys, welcome back. And today we're gonna to talk so... Uh, <coughs> oh no. I'm not listening or watching. And there's gonna be some hard decisions if <laughs> this is this. Try and get them bread and butter meads. So if that's not being met and you're spending uh, for, what's this, where's this guy parking? Right next to me, of course.